So, a while back, I did a piece about the iPhone XR in India and I called it bizarre. This was triggered by me going to the theatre and watching this ad for the iPhone XR in India by Apple and them pricing it at just 76,000 rupees, a full 20,000 more than the price in the US. The iPhone XR to me represents one of Apple's best moves in recent years since the iPhone SE and their strategy in India was just plain muddled, at least until today. Let's get started. Our story begins two years ago when Apple announced that Wistron, one of their contractors, was setting up a factory in Bangalore to manufacture the iPhone SE in India. The iPhone SE was and is one of my favorite iPhones of all times because it makes the compromises that it has to in order to get what I consider to be Apple's best feature to as many people as possible, the iOS platform. Then in 2017, Apple gave us the iPhone 10 and the price of the phone was 1 lakh. A lot of people, including myself, freaked out because we thought that Apple was supposed to lower prices in India because they were manufacturing in India. This was in the time when Apple was untouchable. They were the company that could raise the price as much as they would want and customers would just continue buying. Then, late last year, Foxconn, another one of Apple's contractors, announced that they would be setting up a plant in Tamil Nadu, in Chennai, not more than 50 kilometers from where I'm sitting right now, and they would be manufacturing higher-end iPhones in India. I was super excited. Last week, we learned that the iPhone 7 was being made in India, and yesterday, we learned that trial productions for the iPhone 10 had been completed by Foxconn in Chennai, and today, we learned that Apple would be slashing the price of the iPhone XR to, get this, 64,000 rupees for the 128GB version, which is the only version you should get. The phone to me could be summed up in one phrase, good enough for everybody. Let's start with the screen. It's 6.1 inch LCD, not OLED and it's perfectly fine for everyone's viewing requirements. It's not as high resolution as other phones, but you will not notice. Moving on to the speakers, they're dual speakers, they're extremely loud, and once you've had a chance to experience dual speakers, you will not want to go back to single speaker, OnePlus. Then we come to the processor, which is awesome. The A12 chip and the A12X chip are Apple's best inventions that they gave us last year. They're extremely fast, and they still wipe the floor with the Snapdragon 855. We move on to the cameras and they're good enough. Yes, there is no telephoto lens, but unless you're a wildlife photographer, I don't see why you need a telephoto lens. And even if you are, why are you using your iPhone to take pictures? The portrait mode is not as good as a dual lens setup, but predominantly all portrait modes on all smartphones are rubbish. This is a portrait mode shot taken by the Note 9 and this is a portrait mode shot taken by the iPhone XR. Both are trash. Finally, we come to the operating system. iOS is still the world's best mobile operating system. It is more stable than Android, it is faster than Android, and chances are it will still get updates four years from now, Samsung. Now, I'm feeling a little bit sick because I actually got one of my friends to bring this phone down from the US and I paid 66,000 rupees for the 128 gigabyte version, which is 2,000 more than the price in India. But for the rest of us, this is the best move that Apple has made in the hardware division for this country, period. Closing out with some technicalities, there is a difference between the MRP and the MOP. The maximum retail price for this phone is still a whopping 76,000 rupees. The market operating price, however, is 64,000 rupees for the 128 gigabyte version. Or if you use a HDFC credit card, you can get cash back on the 64 GB and knock the price down to less than 55,000 rupees. Just as they say that as long as there is life, there is hope. As long as there is a big ass Foxconn factory, not more than 50 kilometers from where I'm sitting, there is hope for Apple customers in India. The future is bright. Okay, thanks for watching this video, guys. I'm finally shooting on my Sony A7 III up from my Note 9. I hope you appreciate the difference. If you like the quality of this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Let me know what you think of the iPhone XR in the comment section down below and I will catch you guys in the next one.